Hello everyone and welcome back to your friendly neighborhood movie reactioners. Popcorn of it. Loved it. Hi everyone. <laughs> we are watching The Firm. And I'm not technically using Tom this. Back in. <laughs> I know. We are like, we're just a Tom Cruise movie reaction channel now. Seriously, it was like Mission Impossible 4 and Top Gun Maverick both are this week. Oh yeah. And we're watching The Firm. Not counting this as my popcorn pick of the month, but I did kind of just pick it. I just, I'm finding that like lawyer courtroom oh. are, are some of my favorite movies I've seen on the channel. And I love that. Yeah. It's like suits with Tom Cruise. Yeah. I love it. Yes. Did you watch, let's see, The, the Good Wife? Legally Bond. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes, Legally Bond and no to the good wife. Oh, that one was so good. Too. A TV show? Yeah, like a legal oh, show. Watch that. Okay. But anyways, that's what we're watching, and we know Tom Cruise is in it, and that is all I do. Every time I watch a lawyer movie, though, I'm like, ah, she should have been a lawyer. <laughs> this girl's a CIA <laughs> agent, a lawyer. But then in grad school, and I had friends in law school, and I was like, you guys picked the wrong grad school. <laughs> she was in her MBA and yeah, smooth and it was sailing. Oh, for homework, I have to go network tonight yeah, by going out. golfing and <laughs> yeah. a fancy dinner, dang it. <laughs> so that's what we're doing. We're watching The Firm because we want to. Here we go. Yeah, let's get started. Remember, here is my Patreon. You'll love it over there. Come on over. You can join for as little as $3 a month. Come on. <laughs> Editor, <laughs> <laughs> like and subscribe here and action. Harvard Law. Okay, sorry. Oh, we're in Boston. HBS, here we go. <gasps> Oh, this is a young Tom <laughs> Yeah, seriously. Currently doing an extern shift with Judge Hookstrap. That's more impressive than being in the top 5%. Top 5 in my class. Not the top 5%. I'm sorry, I just... Mr. McDermott, we've just offered you $68,000 a year. Is there somewhere else you have to do? Yes, sir, I have a job. I'm just on lunch break. Dang! What year is this, do you know? I mean, if he's this young. 80s, I'm guessing. We're just trying to think of the salaries. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Holy Hunter! We just saw him in Twister. Oh, Holly Hunter. I love how he has a regular job, though. Me too. He's like just, had to put himself through yeah. school. I served at Chili's all through college. To riches. You served? <laughs> and, yes, yeah, I waitress too. Tired of interviews? No, sir. Just don't quite know what to say. Unusual for a lawyer. Oh, I can get tongue-tied in any number of situations, usually with my wife. Would you mind describing one? He's a wife? Whenever she walks into a room, as a matter of fact. Mm. Might we ask about the rest of your family? Brothers and sisters. The only firm to talk about is family. Not Bendini Lambert and Locke is just a small Memphis firm. But we're a large family, so we're careful. It includes a low interest mortgage so you can buy a home. Wow. Country club membership. Hey -o. And we'll lease you a new Mercedes. You pick the color, Mitch. I've been paying attention. His wife picks the color. <laughs> My opinion? Unless you can tell us what's in it. A lawyer worth that offer shouldn't have to open the envelope. Oh my gosh, I would hate this situation. It became also nice, now it's like, trick question. Did Mr. Lambert, as senior partner, give you any instructions regarding my employment? He did. Do you usually follow Mr. Oh, Lambert's already. <laughs> Objection. Sustained. What precisely were those instructions? We obtained your services before a bidding situation developed. How did you go about making certain? Bribed a clerk for the exact amount of the highest offer, and then added 20%. <sighs> What was the highest 74? I don't know. Lambert and Locke was the only one set out. We want you. Not even playing hard to get. Just earned 90,000 in the 80s? Dang. Right out of law school? <laughs> I have to leave now. I'm expecting my husband. <laughs> I love you. I know. Oh, they're little so fun. Apartment. We should pork, Szechuan beef, mandarin duck. It's even got a cork. Oh, they're fancy. You remember all. the letter I got from that firm in Memphis? Memphis? That's what I thought. Until they're off. What was the offer? He didn't say. He hasn't opened it yet. Plus a 5% increase the second year. Why? Why? <laughs> Whose side are you on anyway? <laughs> Yours. Tell us the dang offer. Is it too good to be true? I know. It's making me nervous. They say they feel like a family, but don't they also say don't do business with family? Limos have kind of died, huh? Yeah. Isn't that interesting? I was just thinking about that yeah. the other day. You've been in one limo, you've been in them all. 
He's our number one draft pick, and he's being romanced by the big boys from New York. We have to sell him on our little firm here in Memphis. No one's divorced in the firm? No pet choice What about when? They have a one. Alice Krauss, affirmative action on stilts. Hey. <gasps> a man of many talents. Tom Cruise. Dang. It's different from the Northeast. We're almost stately by comparison. We keep each other's secrets. I like that. That means they have secrets. Do you work? <laughs> Not since I put in the marker in law school. But you know, working isn't forbidden. Forbidden? Working. Out of fun. How could it be forbidden? It isn't. <laughs> that sounded a little like I know. misogynistic. Yeah, it's not forbidden. A little square, maybe. I don't mind square. I like square. Weird, I don't mind. What do you mean, weird? The firm does not forbid me to take a job, and they encourage children. Because they love kids. Because children promote stability. These are nice people. She's got a vibe. Yeah. Did you ever think I'd make a six-figure salary? Absolutely. You did? Your folks are only a few hours away, too. You mean if we fly, I don't have far to drive. Exactly. <laughs> Oh, she's got a phone. She made two know. phone calls from the hotel. One to her parents and one to the Memphis school board. She seemed a little reluctant. What about Kozensky and Hodges? It's not good. Oh, I feel nervous. I know. It's almost it's like... we got to start, like, get out. That's exactly what I was yeah. about to say. Yeah. It's almost like, you know, this perfect family and this perfect mm -hmm. place and then... Neapolitan Oreos. I'm obsessed because I love golden Oreos and Neapolitan is one of my favorite ice cream. Okay, but this is waffle cone flavored cookie. Well, waffles are my favorite food, so maybe it's still that waffle cookie. I was like, <laughs> oh, cute. Just a few things to make you feel at home. Hope you don't mind. Oh, you know what? I think I love them. <laughs> <laughs> The strawberry's a little uh, strong. Where's yours? <laughs> <laughs> they're cute. Yeah. And they're dog. I still it's think I would prefer it with a regular glaze for you. I agree. Don't get up. Don't worry. Tad eager, are we, Mr. McDear? How was the guy? Mm -hmm. That's doing all the background stuff? Mm hmm. Wow. Uno mas? Mm hmm. Perhaps yes. That says you've been here since 6.30. I thought I'd jumpstart the bar exam work. No associate's ever failed the bar exam, you know. Here to help with the bar exam. No associate of the firm has ever failed. First day is a four-hour multiple choice on ethics. No associate of this firm has ever failed the bar exam. Yeah, no pressure. Can I help you? Actually, I think I'm here to help you. <gasps> I'm every Tolar, your designated mentor. Dean Hackman, I did not know he was in this. Everything depends on billing. How many hours you spend even thinking about a client? I want you to review the last one I did for a client named Sonny Caps. He paid us 400000 in fees, so I don't want to make him unhappy. Oh, this is so suits-esque. I'm loving it. I should warn you, the firm frowns on drinking during office hours. Nice tea, please. Bombay Martini on the rocks. <laughs> <laughs> I've allowed a few minor rebellions. What led you to law school? As a delivery boy for a pizza parlor. One day the owner got a notice from the IRS. He was an immigrant, went bankrupt, lost his store. It scared me. Being out of work. What the government can do, anybody. Just sing. What led you to law school? I used to caddy for young lawyers and their wives. I looked at those long tan legs and just knew I had to be a lawyer. <laughs> the wives had long tan legs, too. <laughs> Another martini, please. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to like the mentor, though. Yeah, I think I'm on his side. I'll let Mrs. Quinn know you're here. Are you sure it's today? Marty Kaczynski and Joe Hodges were killed. Yeah. What happened, Kay? They were diving on Grand Cayman. Then there was some kind of explosion on the boat. And those are the two names they mentioned yes. about Chicago? Mm -hmm. They're like, we're gonna have to do something about those mm -hmm. guys. Lamar? His twin girls are a month older than our son. Very sorry, Lamar. Oliver wanted me to tell you, you shouldn't be burdened with a student loan. Excuse me? The firm will repay it for you. My dream. <laughs> this is weird. Yeah. Is this gonna be a scary movie? I hope not. Did you trick me into this? <laughs> there, there are horses. Two of them. Quarter horses. Does that make half a horse? <laughs> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yikes. Yeah. I'm every Tolar. You're the reason I see so little of my husband these days. He must be the most ambitious man in the world, leaving you every day. Why is he still playing your hand? You must be overwhelmed with grief. People grieve in different ways, Miss McDear. I don't know if I like him anymore. Yeah. Hmm. Cute. 
cute PJs. Yeah, for real. <laughs> uh oh. Ava waiting. Share bowl of kibble with bearer of note. You and I are flying to the Caymans tomorrow morning. Take on Mr. Sunny Caps personally. But the bar exam. It'll be here when you get back. Shall I stay, Mr. McDear? No, I'm fine, Nina. You going home? Are we sure her name's not Nina? I. <laughs> <laughs> she just never corrects me. <laughs> I'm concerned. Just looks sketchy. You with Bendini, Lambert, and Locke? Yeah. How did you? Looks like they're working you to death. Kaczynski and Hodges. Bob Lamb and Alice Strauss. Four dead lawyers out of 41. Who are you guys? We'll probably see each other again. I feel nervous. Yeah. Are they cops? Lawyers? Detectives? I want them to be good. The Alice one Gross girl lawyer died. they had. Yeah. That's where he's going? Yeah. I got mm -hmm. caught in this incredible accident, 12 cars. And there was a pregnant woman in one of them. I had to help deliver the baby. They said they're gonna name her Abigail. Why do you think I'm working like this? I want you to have all Wait this stuff. Wait a minute. Stuff. I never asked for anything, Mitch. But I want to give it to you. Everything you gave up to Mary. Stop it. I don't need all that. Just bring me flowers sometime. Mm. That's tough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My bet is she came for money. And yeah, did not like that she married him. And so he's like got a chip on his shoulder. Mm -hmm. Are you working all night? Oh, this is stuff. Wanna have some eggs? I had some eggs. Wanna have some naked? I want him to tell her that he was researching it. Yeah. I know, me too, because she's already very suspicious. Mm -hmm. Which I know what you want, but it's not for me. It's not even for you, and you know it. It's easy for somebody rich to talk about being poor. This isn't about rich or poor. This is about a mother in a trailer park and a brother you pretend you don't have. Oh, <gasps> he said he didn't have any brothers or sisters. Just follow me and don't over grief. Oh. I don't see how you can dive so soon after the accident. There was a plane crash last week. We didn't take a boat to the game. This new plan defers all your tax liability for years. Mr. Toller has a plan that meets him. All your needs. Let him tell me. He's been trying to. Hey, who the f are you? His lawyer or mine? Neither one, sir. You're not the firm's only concern here. If you're talking about our friends in Chicago, as long as they're making money, they don't give a flying f who does my taxes. I'm a nice guy. Arguable. You a yeah. Bucks for me? I'm not gonna break your leg. Sonny, what did I say? Maybe it's what you didn't say. Thank you. Mr. Toller handed you a schedule. I'm nervous. Is he in trouble? Next year, they're gonna close a loophole. You're gonna feel like you're a f with a big enough for an elephant to feel it. Oh, that is so crude. You like the word protege? I never had one. You ever been one? Who's in Chicago? Look at all that. You're in a good dinner tonight out. Hey. <laughs> oh, I don't know I about know. this. Made it all look pretty so you can sweep everything else under the rug. Right. He feels it too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's totally going to the diving. I lost my son. Don't you think I would have screamed bloody murder if I thought something was wrong? You're right. They never did find him or the other two. What other two? One was squat heavy. The other guy had long blonde hair, almost white. Have we seen someone with that description? Know. We have a red stripe out of the fridge. I don't want to him to tell him about his no. concerns though. Which I'm convinced I can. Did you find something? Oh, close the door quickly. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh. Here's Let's do this later. Story. Yeah, for real. Can you have a better plan here? Between tax avoidance and evasion is whatever the IRS says. A smart lawyer, 10 years in prison, all of the above. Close the dang door. I know. He better be sitting eating chips on the counter when he walks out. We teach the rich how to play it. <gasps> it's a game. One you just played very, very well. Did he see that? I don't, I don't think know. so. Who is this girl? I don't mean to hurt your feelings, but this isn't gonna happen. You don't know what you're missing. Yikes. That's anyway. He looks very paranoid. Yep. Oh my gosh. What's happening? I don't know. Can I look at this? You're not a doctor. It's been a lot of ankles. Mostly mine. Oh, I get really creepy vibes. I know, there are vibes. That was your boyfriend. That was for money. You think that's... It's got nothing to do with me. Is this too tight? No. I have an icky feeling inside. Something bad's to gonna happen. Yeah, but Tom's gonna fix it. I wanted to feel like all those people with first class tickets and pretty clothes. I wanted to feel... Rich? 
How much would it take to feel rich? How much would it take to feel safe? I think that hits home for him. Yeah, very Did much so. You made me feel safe. He's a good guy. I just want him to let him be a good guy. You know. No, he wouldn't do that to Abby. Mm -mm. You gotta go. Get bitch. out of there. Stay with me for a while. I can't. Get out of there. Step out of it. I know. No, no, no. Don't kiss her. Don't, Don't kiss, kiss her. her. Don't do it. Oh, is she drunk? What's going on? I don't know. <gasps> no. Do you think the firm set that up for him? Now they can blackmail him. They better not. Oh. <gasps> Why don't you take the afternoon off? I've been oh. pretty wife here. She pulled last night. What'd you tell her? That you were probably walking on the beach. I was. Well, I guessed right then, didn't I? She totally knows. I feel like they set it up. His brother? Well, well. A man from the gentleman's court. I... It's a long time, huh? It's okay. I've become a patient man. I feel very sad about yeah. that. It would be funny if I went to Harvard and you went to jail and we both ended up surrounded by crooks. What does Abby think? I haven't told her. I guess I don't want it to be real. Nothing's real until I tell it to Abby. How'd you ever land the job with a brother and enjoy it? Sorry, I told him you didn't exist. Yeah. That's okay. I'd have done the same thing myself. Aww. Think I'd ever tell guys around here I got a brother in Harvard? <laughs> I want you to see a friend of mine, Eddie Lomax. He's a private investigator in Little Rock. Anything I can do for you, get me out of here. Where to? Anywhere I can see a whole lot of sky. It's amazing how much you miss the sky. What did he do, I wonder? Mm -hmm. Got to put the water in. You know what happens? No. The lights go out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mr. Lomax will see you now. Oh my sweet mercy. He was on Dancing with the Stars, but I don't know why he's famous. That's my secretary. She's got a nutcase for a husband. He thinks his Elvis. What do you think his name is? Yeah, Elvis. I, I run across some strange things in this job. I would never spray paint on an overpass. What can I do for you? Oh, gosh. I was just looking for Mitch. Nina says he hasn't been in all afternoon. Nina. Didn't he come yeah. back with you? Well, you think it's possible? Anything's possible. Hello. I'll tell you one thing. Your firm sure as hell seems accident prone. I'll see what I can find out. You know what, though? This is the exact the kind of guy he needs. Someone so disconnected That's from... That's true. The world. Yes, that world. Because if you use someone else... Yeah, they could be, get back to him. Yeah, or they could be, like, bought off. Or Do you know what I mean? Since this guy's... Time. He can last it. What do you think? Whatever Ray had, he used up to get this far. Hmm. <laughs> Has she not seen him since he's been back? I don't think so. You know, I, I went... Avery told me you were at the law library. No, Avery didn't exactly know where I was. So what if this house is packed? Oh, with another woman. Oh, my gosh. I... I went oh. to see Ray. Just like that, after all this time. God, I mean, yeah. He's got to get that parole. You want to try something? Pretend we're back in our old, beat-up apartment and we find some money we forgot in pockets. Set out for pizza. Drink Thank beer. you. I know where it will lead. I'm so mad at him. You know. And he can't take it back. That is like, you know he feels so much regret and he can't take it back. It's awful. We didn't see the end of it though. Maybe he walked away. Yeah. Your wife? She's in Cleveland. She was. Don't you answer your phone? Don't you knock? The blonde guy. Where's your secretary? Out. <laughs> Why are you asking questions about dead lawyers? What dead lawyers? Who hired you to do that? Oh my gosh. Julio Iglesias. Oh my god. Great. Oh. You want to ask him a few questions now? Oh my gosh. She's going to tell him. So once you're being outside of the circle. Yeah. If you want to follow along with me, we'll begin on page I of the IRS code of 1986. Reflecting pool Lincoln Morrell, it's time to talk. Oh. That guy looks very familiar to me. I've seen him in another movie, but I think he had hair. Look casual, buddy. Go over and sit next to the man on the bench. I need him to be a better actor right now. <laughs> My name is Voiles. I'm with the Department of Justice. Now, we have reason to believe that your house is bugged. Your phones are tapped. Your You're office right. is wired. Are you saying my life is I'm saying budget? that your life as you know it is over. What? Your law firm is the sole legal representative of the Moraldo crime family in Chicago. The mafia, the mob. Oh my gosh. They're bringing a new rookie. Throw money at him. Buy the car, the house. Yes, yeah, so they can bug it After all. After a couple of years and your kids are in 
private schools, they tell you the truth. They're gonna help him, right? Or is he gonna have to be the mole? We're gonna break this firm. When that happens, you're gonna go to jail along with the rest. Why can't I just leave? Because you'll die. That's what Kaczynski and Hodges were trying to do. You help us, we'll make it worth your while. Oh. Worth my while? Still have a pretty good life. You know, witness? Protection program in some nowhere place, and one day I'm backing out of the driveway and my car explodes? Doesn't have to be that way. I don't need much of a life, Mr. Voyle, so it has to be mine. Not what you got now, son. This seems like a really lose lose situation, yeah, for seriously. Him. Steal files from the firm, testify against my colleagues, get me disbarred, then testify in open court against the mafia. Are you out of your fucking mind? <laughs> How long before they find out Lomax's soulmate was Ray McDeer? Your brother comes up for parole soon. Cooperate with us, I'll guarantee the board will be grateful. No, no, They're blackmailing him too! No, or no, ultimatum in no. the blah 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 blah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. This sucks. It really sucks. Never mind to take it all back up student loans if this is what it means. <laughs> I can't go with it. Right now. Just had a little chat with the FBI. They didn't try to coerce you? No. Did they ask you to contact them again? What for? Exactly what did they want? Oh, he's playing dumb. Yeah. The secret files. <laughs> Who had those secret files last? I gave them to you. They also suggested that Hodges and Kaczynski were murdered. Sons of bitches. If it isn't the Justice Department, it's the IRS. He's got a plan, right? Yeah, I think so. I guess the only other question is, who do we bill this hour to? <laughs> How about the FBI? Do you think they bought it? I sure hope so. I feel like he's gonna throw up. Yeah. I think you might be right about the blackmail on the beach. Yeah, that's what I'm really nervous about. Somebody's burning leaves outside, did you smell it? Reminded me of the time. Maybe they should go for a drive or a walk? A shower? Is that a safe spot? Control your face. You mean there might be cameras? I don't know, maybe. Control your face. <laughs> I just... <laughs> maybe they're working too much alias. Abby, this is his wedding scene! Abby! Abby. 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 Don't say anything, don't say anything. Can we just run back to Boston? If we run, they find us. What are you going to do? What is he going oh to do? Oh my gosh. Go in tomorrow and start to copy files. Mitch! We have to behave exactly. As we have been. Oh, can you imagine never feeling like safe in your own home? No. That's insane. This is insane. What an impossible situation. How do you get how do we get out of this? I don't know. Even he's if he so gets, smart. He's gonna figure know. something out. Okay, he has to be so discreet. Play it cool. Did he cut himself while shaving? <laughs> oh my gosh. There has to be a better way than to I do know. it literally in the office. <laughs> Holy frick. Oh. Just trying to make a copy. You have to have the billing code for each client. You mean every time I copy a piece of paper, it's recorded? What are you trying to do? Kill yourself? Mm. Come down for one night, can't you? Well, it used to be worth it. So we definitely don't like him. When's the next Cayman trip? If you think I'm gonna let Sonny Caps get another look at you, you're crazy. I don't think he's playing it cool enough. I know. Did you order a fried egg sandwich from the Front Street Deli? Yes. Uh, yes, I did. Gosh, he always looks suspicious. I know, he's like, <laughs> I know. You actually saw them? Oh my gosh, they got King Teddy hit him in the name. They came looking for me yesterday. I couldn't think anywhere else to go. It'll lead to you. I don't want anything bad to happen to you. Eddie wouldn't like it. She's so scared. I know. Bill DeVash, your firm security. I wonder if we could have a little talk. They're gonna kill him right now? Oh my gosh. No. But he still has to kind of like play it cool, right? Right. So he doesn't give him away in case they don't know anything. But why this is he driving looks sketchy? The FBI wouldn't come after you if they didn't figure they'd get to you. What do you suppose made him think that? I have no idea. Well, they might know how important your young wife is to you. Death is love and trust. <gasps> the kind of intimate acts that could be particularly hard to forgive and impossible oh, I feel to Ill. forget. I'll do the best I can to protect you. And I know you'll do your best to protect the firm. Holy. They are evil. They are evil. Oh my gosh. Oliver wants to see you right now in the library. Where you been? Who's Oliver? <gasps> I think you're pretty smart, don't you? You didn't get the highest score in the bar exam. You got the second highest score. <laughs> <laughs> They gotta play it cool. Frick, 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 frick. They called you, huh? Guilty, Your Honor. I, I oh, gosh. 
Act better. I know. Like, it's killing me. The spice is just great. And the lease would be Greenwood under Secretary. secretarial services. They're going to deliver a copier tomorrow. I will maintain the confidence, the secrets of my client. If your client's guilty and they tell you, I was just thinking about that. Attorney client privilege covered that? I think so. You, like, you don't tell. Mm -mm. Holy. The first thing I'm going to do is violate the secrets of my clients. Shh. Do you see any other way? Come on. Oh, he has to find another way. Can. See the teller. What? That night in the Caymans with your telephone. What did you do? No. You didn't. Oh, poor Abby. Who was she? I don't even know her name. Why did you f some stranger on a beach one night away from me? Who does that? I promise you. You can't promise anything. Oh. Not anymore. Why did you tell me? Because I couldn't stand that too. Wrong. He's not telling her that they have pictures? Yeah. And set it all up? Give me the keys. Give me the keys. Your protege's got a brother. Well, I got a brother I might not mention either. I'm doing time. The morale has been edgy ever since the Kaczynski and Hodges mess. When you lie, if you had a felon in the family to get a job like this, you've got nothing to be suspicious about. I get paid to be suspicious when I got nothing to be suspicious about. Ooh. Oh. Mitch seemed like at the beginning that he would be the guy to walk away from that situation. At the first girl, he's like not even tempted. I don't know if it makes it better or worse for her if he tells her that they set it up to blackmail him. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Oh, shoot. I'm so scared for everyone. Who's paying for this? I don't know. You never spent 33 hours last month on my account. Is that what you're bill? You don't see your own bills? I just submit my timesheet. It's been going on over there for years. When somebody over there put a stamp on this and mailed it, it became a federal offense. Three to five years, each instance. Wait, what? Wait, what? And I'm going over to Mulholland's for a half hour or so. He, he... <laughs> I think there might be a way of doing this without getting disbarred and without breaking the law. Yes! We got a plan! Gotta get that stuff in the Caymans. Somebody's gonna have to get to it another way. I want you to get hold of a van. Wow, this is some real, like, Mission Impossible yeah. stuff. <laughs> it feels like this music doesn't go with it. <laughs> yeah. You go, Tammy. Yeah, for real. Mr. Voyles wants me to tell you how much the Bureau appreciates. A million dollars in a number to count in Switzerland. And my brother out now. Your brother is a convicted felon. You heard me, Terrence. My brother out now. And make it a million and a half. How about you get down on your knees? I haven't done anything. You know it. Who gives a f I'm a federal agent. You've got no rights. I can kick your teeth down your throat, yank them out your... I'm not even violating your civil rights. You are Agent Wayne Terrence. Yeah, you're goddamn right I am. He's got a wire on. Is this Wayne Terrence? Yeah. So is this. I can kick your teeth down your throat, yank them out your I'm not even violating your civil rights. Oh. I think you ought to reconsider. We've got a plan, people, but he has to see it right with Abby. Go to her if she'll let you. I think I might have found a way out. I know it's weird, but if we follow the law, it just might save us. I need him to beg. You know, yeah. Know. Would it change anything between us? It's just a plan. I can't do this anymore. I've given notice at the school. I'll leave after the break Wednesday. You have no idea. Don't. I love you, Abby. Don't you dare, you son of a bitch! They hurt for her so I bad. Know. Should we go in now and do this for the record? Oh my gosh. I've made a decision. Call the basher. She's leaving him. Knock, knock. Bad times, huh? All the wives go a little nuts the first year. She'll be back. Probably want to get pregnant. Oof. It's the only way he'll give us a file. Then stall the money. Get the brother up. And the minute we get the files, yank it back. But he's not even going to use the files. Oh... I still can't figure out his end. I know. I think like, it has something to do with the stamps and the... Yes. Well, I don't know if I'm really supposed to do this hey, for you. you want to wake up, Avery? I'll have everything back in the drawer before the office opens. But everything's on camera. Yeah. This is before the camera phones, where you wouldn't have to copy all this. You could just... <laughs> just sleep. <laughs> Something with the billable hours. You're right. You're taller than I thought. That's nice to hear. I know him from something, too. Who are you, sweetheart? <laughs> what time is Avery charted the boat for? 2.30. They gotta keep him out long enough to copy everything in that closet. Should be a move six hours. Tammy's coming down tomorrow to set things up. I can whip us up some eggs. Last day, I don't want to be late for school. Oh, you talked. You're running a real three-ring circus, aren't you? I want her to help. I know. Oh, I hate this, I hate this, I hate you know, this. You know, isn't it amazing? You did the cheating, and I'm the one who feels guilty. Don't. Hey, 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 hey
You're outside with the children. Play it cool. I'm going to the Caymans tomorrow. Have a nice trip. Want to come? No, it sounds outrageous, but think about it. Ew. Can grab some sun. I can give you marital advice and hit on you. He is such a freaking creep. I don't scuba dive. I can't scuba dive either. Client's coming into town. How about it? She's gonna help him. He needs him to be on the boat for six hours. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, Avery. Oh, she runs away. <laughs> My goodness, people. <laughs> Tammy, this is Abby McDear. Abby's not going to Abby. We're dead. I'm gonna try to do something. I'm flying some for hours. Oh my goodness! I wanted the plan to go so according to plan. Tammy, don't tell Mitch anything. Prescription for Abigail McDear. He's out. Oh, they're gonna kill him! Please don't kill him! No, they're not. Guess what I'm looking at? Sky. Tell me. My first sunset in six years. You made it. Yeah, I did. I owe you, little brother. I know. You're sorry. It's gonna be fine. It already is. And then even the FBI, they're like, well, we'll take him out and then we'll get the papers in. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Everyone's corrupt. Now, where are the files? You send half now. When I get confirmation it's there, I'll send the files. You free, McDear. Follow the yellow line. I'm used to that. What else does he do? I know! Does he kind of look like Mr. Rogers? Does he? No? He's someone. His voice is so familiar yeah. to me. Gosh, these movies would be so scared to ever send my husband on a business trip. She went to the Caymans to distract him yeah. because he can't go diving. So what was the prescription for? You don't seem that surprised. I'm deeply surprised. What a freaking sleaze bag. I mean, she's doing this to help Mitch, mm -hmm. but he is hitting on his protege's you know, freaking wife. wife. Oh, she's gonna act so good. You know I have a very bad reputation. I run around. Why do you do that? Fact is, I love my wife. Well, I guess she's lost interest in me. I know I have, but I haven't cared for anyone since. I'd like to, though. Oof. Woof. Yeah. Lay a lot on a girl for a first date. Is that what this is? I feel ill. Mm -hmm. I feel like I have this, like, icky feeling. The prescription. Yeah. Oh, frick. Oh, no. I don't like they're showing us Ray again. I know. Leave Ray alone. <gasps> Shoot. Elvis. Yes, Tammy totally had a plan. Yes, 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 yes. Save Ray! Wow. <laughs> He's a truck driver! We lost your brother. Why were you following him? Where are you? Where are those files? You want the files, you wire the money. Gotta go, Wayne. I love it. He's outsmarting everyone. I feel like she's got to play even harder to get. Yes. Like, as much as she wants to distract him, he's going to know that she wouldn't just run off and cheat with his boss. Oh, don't touch her. He's going to touch her. <gasps> don't. You can play hard to get. It's okay. Crap. Okay. Oh, gosh. What are you doing here? You're not being truthful. See? I knew it. I can't be the punish Mitch for letting the firm run our lives. Because when Mitch was here with you, he slept with someone else. Is that what you want to hear? Better than the alternative. What alternative? But you came here to see me. I'm so uncomfortable on so yeah. many levels. Avery? Oh, Frank. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, I feel nervous for her. Me too. You got all the information I need? There's no numbers listed. I can't play the poker game I'm gonna play and bluff. Holy Info cow. Help by client and my Matt. Is there any other information? Some kind of password? R-E-F Cordelia. Okay, I gotta get to Avery's computer in the morning. I gotta get these out to the bottom. Get the damn keys back in his pants and get out of there before he wakes up. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. I feel crap, very crap, nervous. Crap, crap, crap. That's not possible. The guys will be landing in about 10 minutes and she better be there. No, get out of the house. Don't. They heard you on the phone. It sent you. He doesn't know I'm here, but I did do it for him. That's even better than getting even with him. You gotta get out of here. He's gonna help her. Is he doing one redeeming thing, maybe, in his life? Having a girl on the beach is a setup. What's going to happen? What are they gonna do to you? Whatever it is. They did it a long time ago. No oh, fuck. Oh, just gosh. talk to Avery and the Cayman. Just get her off this computer. This thing's out of paper. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Come on, you gotta get out of there. Oh my gosh. Camera phone! Thank you, Madge. 
Mitch, we've just been looking for you. Yes, he's right here, Nina. Transfer him. Take the phone call. Terrence for you. Take the phone call. Take the phone call. And stop looking like that. I mean, he's already caught, right? He could still get out of the building. Get out of here. They know. Get out. I understand. Uh... <laughs> Nina, help him. I told you, it's just like Mission Impossible. He knew go. the tricks always worked. Then they're always arguing. Go, 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 go! Holy crap! Holy crap! What are you gonna do, Mister? I dare you to try and catch Tom. What direction was he running? Wait, we did. Never mind. What happened? It's okay. I'll send you a car. We don't trust him. I don't trust anyone. Yeah. Come on in, and we'll place you in protective custody. Somehow you don't make me feel protected. I, are you looking that's to get fair. You know what's going on? The Marotos are arriving today. What? The whole goddamn world's gonna be looking for you. So get in here. There's something I gotta do. Where the hell are the files, Mitch? After. After what? Oh my! Like I still am missing a piece I of his know. plan. Issue APBs on Ray and the Mitchell McDeer. Apollo 13. Come on, come on. I think that's where he's from. He wore a vest. <sighs> Oh my gosh. Is it worth it? Mitch! I just saw Mitch at Mud Island Museum. He was <gasps> zipping through like a tourist. Oh. What's going on? Northwest Airlines driving from Chicago. They look like the Mafia. <laughs> he was in the Mafia. Good fellas. Your brother's on the plane and Tommy's loading the ship now. <laughs> It worked out. Your lawyer friend is dead. Drunk. In his bathtub. After the lady left. What lady? Now, wait a minute. Mitch is asking about your friend Abby. Isn't that her name? Did he kill himself? Or did the blonde hair guy kill him? Oh? Oh, fetch. Could you look any more creepy? I was just gonna say that exact same thing. Oh, Mitch, you didn't even see. Oh, crap. Oh, gosh. She's getting off so oblivious right now. Let's Hank. Walk faster, Mitch. Excuse me. Look back. <gasps> oh, he knew shoot. Because yeah. Tammy told him. Where does he go? Where does he go? Where does he go? He looks so creepy. I know. <laughs> Even though he runs. Looks like the albino twins from the Matrix. Carly, I what? need this to be a satisfying I know. ending <laughs> for all of the, the accounts. Right. Right. He needs to be good. Abby needs to forgive him. Yes. Oh, oh, this guy. In that first door, I'm going around the front. You can probably get around at least one of them. Can you imagine the panic? Yeah. No. Okay. Fetch, does he have a gun? Does he have a gun? He has a gun. Come on. Oh my gosh. Huh? Nah. He doesn't think you went out the window? Oh. Oh my gosh. Ethan Hunt, ladies and gentlemen. For real. <gasps> he just shot his man. Oh my gosh. Oh. Take the gun. Oh, okay. You need to run. You need to run. You love to run. Why is he running? Oh my goodness. This kid's cut a deal and I bet it's a puke. If I get my hands on this fucking kid, Joey, if I get my hands on this kid. It's a Mr. McDear. He's waiting to see you. Is this part of the plan? Oh my gosh. And he walks in there. Okay. Rich McDear, your attorney. One of them anyway. You could have said no. Not really. What's the plan, Mitch? It's very awkward. You're telling us. My firm has behaved in an un unethical manner, overbilling our clients. I feel I have to report this criminal behavior, but I can't use your invoices without your written authorization. That's it. <sighs> Pretty much. Is that in any way? It does not waive your rights to full confidentiality in any other area of the attorney-client relationship. I'm your lawyer, gentlemen. So what was this stealing of the files? The files haven't been stolen. I just felt it was important for me to be thoroughly familiar with all your activities. So I prepared copies of everything. That way you and I can communicate perfectly. And of course, if we ever have to talk to a third party, I know everything you know, as I should, as your attorney. A ship that will never reach any port. As long as I'm alive, that ship will always be at sea. In any case, I need your written authorization so I can release your bills. 
What in the world? So he said to them, basically, I know everything. Right. So you can't touch me. The files will be yeah. given to someone. You got the account number. You know how to access it. Seven hundred fifty thousand mm. dollars. Oh, you're cookable enough. Oh, it's not on this feature. <laughs> oh, what is? <laughs> You live in the real close off the hook. They're my clients. You give me a bunch of pencil pushers. Have you really looked at that? There's 250 acts of documented mail fraud there. That's more than you had a Capone. You made a deal to save your ass. Of course he did. Obviously. You think I'm ever gonna turn on the ignition of my car again without sweating? You didn't win a thing. I won my life back. You don't run me, and they don't run me. Yes. But you at the dog track. I could have gone public with you. Why didn't you? It's against the law. Now he's just got to get back out of here. How in the hell did you come up with mail fraud? He's on the bar exam. They made me study like hell for it. <gasps> Please. She came back, mm -hmm. right? Why didn't you tell me the truth about your plan? Because I knew you'd worry, and that might make you stay. And I knew you needed to leave. I like what you've done to the place. Where are you going? To look for you. You want to tell me what happened? Someday. I think you should know that Avery was pretty decent. He did say corrupt really. and ruined and so unhappy. Listen, mm -hmm. Abby. And it could have happened to you. You were on your way. Did I lose you? You look tired. Did I? You don't make her answer yet. I've loved you all my life, even before we met. Part of it wasn't even you. It was just a promise of you. But these last days, you kept your promise. How could you lose me? And everything's okay. Gonna be okay. okay. Get the heck out of Dodge. Now, Holy. Now they're broke again, back to their little red car and... Do you think it'll make it? Make it where? Boston. What's in Boston? We are. Hmm. And the long boys and my kids. <gasps> and a very small wolf with a lot of potential. <laughs> it was very satisfying. Yeah, it was. The it law was. firm's going down. Mob can't hurt him. Yeah. Someone I've totally sold on that. <laughs> but his brother is free. Yeah, <laughs> Tammy. <laughs> and rich. Oh, I love it. And they're gonna be okay. Tender. Tend. Nope. <laughs> I liked it. Oh, it was so stressful. Yes, but I like that it kept me on my toes. Yes. And that there was one thing I was always trying to figure out. Like, right. it legitimately reminded me of the first Mission Impossible. Yeah. When I was like, wait, what's going you on? You have to like here? weave it all together. together. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yes. Tom Cruise. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, Tom Cruise. And the reason I said it better have a satisfying ending because like the whole movie was just like, something feels off. Yes. And they're like, they're so close yes. to getting him. Mm -hmm. Someone's gonna get killed. And so like at the end, it just was like, holy crap. I, know. I can feel good again. Yeah, yes. because there was, I hate that I would use the word icky, but I did have this like ill feeling about yes. everything. I'm like, I just want people to be good. <laughs> <laughs> right? Even the FBI wasn't good. I know. They were gonna go like, back on their promises. Yes. They were, they didn't care about him. No, they did not at all. And they're like, yeah, at the end when, when he was like, Terrence is like, you're trying, you cut a deal for you. He's like, you should have tried to do that in the first place. Yes. Like, they were goodness. basically like, your life's over. Too bad, so sad. Yeah, but you'll help us. Yeah. Oh, it was stressful, but like, so it wasn't exactly like the law show I thought we were yeah, getting. Same. same, same, same. It was same. like the fugitive meets law. Like it was. Yeah. Oh. And like some kind of a catch me if you can vibe. Yes, yes. I really liked it. I did too. I did too. As long as Abby and Mitch are <sighs> happy mm -hmm. ever after in Boston, I'm okay. Same. Holy. Well, what a ride. <laughs> yeah, it was what a journey. It was fun. It was stressful and crazy and I liked it. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks again for watching with us. We'll see you next time on our next Tom Cruise movie. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. Probably.